do it together. We're going to ask everybody that had your Bible with us to journey with us to uh, Psalms 23. As you're doing it, why don't everybody come on and join in with us and we do something for you like this. Try. Father God, to put a word 
in your mouth for these uh, people. Yes. I ask you, Father God, to let them walk out with a spiritual blessing. Yes. Let them be strong and let them be bold and let them be willing today, Father God. Father God, I ask you to bless this pastor today. Father God, I ask you to bless him for all the good that he's done yes. to everybody under the sound of my voice. Yes. Father God, these and all blessings, I ask it in Jesus' name. Now, in Jesus' name, we say, Amen. You may be seen. Certainly, this is a familiar passage that I pray that you're with me no matter where I go. But certainly, I'm going to give you the word. And you can follow me by the word. Amen. I'm so glad that this text is so familiar when I start stepping on some toes. You won't get upset with me. Help me, somebody. Amen. You see, the Holy Spirit uh, inspired me yesterday to leave a word with sweet home. And this word is going to be today, how faith in your shepherd. How faith in your shepherd. Help me, somebody. In other words, what I'm trying to say is follow the leader. Amen. You see, I didn't say follow your leader. I said follow the leader. Amen. You see, because every now and then some of us like to pick up some leaders. Amen. You see, every now and then we have some dominant forces in the fold. Help me, somebody. You see, everybody don't come through the door. Every now and then some will try to slip through the window. Help me now. You see, in every organization you'll find some that want to take the place of the shepherd that God gave you. Help me, somebody. Amen. I know I'm right about it because according to Jeremiah 3.15, God said, I will send you pastors to feed you knowledge and understanding according to my own heart. Oh, y'all don't have to get quiet on me now. Go ahead and say amen every now and then. You see, the problem is in most churches and uh, organizations, every now and then we have mutiny in the camp. Help me somebody. You see, I got to let you know that God is the pastor. God is the pastor of the universe. Help me somebody. But every now and then you see God will send pastors and under shepherd to his people. I'm right about it because God said I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Amen. You see in the way that God don't leave is when he send you a pastor to feed you knowledge and understanding. Amen. I'm so glad today that Romans 10 and 14 said how can you hear without from him or her because they are not from God. Help me somebody. What I'm trying to tell you all today, I know it's tight, but it's right. I gotta let you know today that it doesn't matter what size church it is. It doesn't matter what denomination it is. I gotta let you know the dragon is loose high in the land. And then you see Revelation told us that there was a war up in heaven. The Michael is Amen. You see, you 
got some true followers. They are disciples now. And they are going to make other disciples. Amen. And then you see, I got to let you know, when the dragon came down from heaven, a third of his disciples came with them. And you see, those disciples are messing with some of you. Help me, somebody. Every now and then, you see, I know what I'm talking to some people that will follow the dragon and his disciples. And then you see, somebody may think part of those people. But let me slow this thing down a little bit. You see, in this walk of life, you gotta put on your whole arm of God. And you gotta do it every single day. Amen. And not only you gotta put on your arm, you gotta stay prayed up. Amen. Because the devil will get the advantage of you. And when you do get the advantage, of according to Second Corinthians, you're not empty. Help me somebody. And what I'm trying to tell you today is the devil got advantage of Peter. If you don't believe me, go to Matthew 16 and tell you that Peter rebuked. And you can be holy. You can be a disciple of your other shepherd. You can be a disciple of the Lord. But if you put, let your guard down, the devil will come in there. Help me somebody. You see, he's going through and throw the earth and walking up and down in Looking to see which one of you didn't take your weeds before. Help me somebody. Yeah. Check yourself on a daily basis. And then once you check yourself, don't leave empty handy because you gotta have your warfare to first kill yourself. Y'all not quiet that time. Y'all not quiet that time. So I'm trying to tell y'all is you live in the flesh. And there is no good flesh. Come on now, walk with me. And then you live in the world. Amen. And there is no good thing. of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. But I'm trying to tell you, if you're not prayed up and have on your arm, you can fall to the temptation of the devil. And then you can mess around and shit just like Peter did before you realize what you've done. And then you see what I'm trying to tell you, there's a warfare going on in the mind. Yes, I said, there's a warfare going on in the mind. And you gotta check yourself daily. You see, we got some patriots that set a good example for us. You see, we know Apostle Paul was one of the greatest apostles of all time. Paul told us in Romans uh, 7 and 14, he said, My mind is weak, but my flesh is weak. 19 first, he said, The things I desire to do, that I do not. But I'm trying to tell y'all today, don't overestimate yourself. Feel like you got it going on and you are devil proof. You don't hear me here today. But I'm trying to tell you if you follow your shepherd and you stay under the word, I will say, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And if you're not hearing the word of God on a regular basis, you can get weak here. Y'all don't hear me today. But I'm trying to tell you here. By the name of David. And we see here that they realized that he was in a difficult situation. You see here, David uh, realized that things are getting rough for him right now. But then remember that he had a shepherd. You see, one thing about David, he could relate to everybody under the sound of my voice. Why? Because David was a good leader. David was a good follower. Strong in his 
saying. You see, David started off as a shepherd himself. Amen. That's why David realized the importance of following the shepherd. Help me, somebody. You know, I want to talk to y'all for a while. But I believe I better set it up just a little bit.
Where they can see the Philistine. 